What if I told you that I can help you cut your wedding gown shopping time in half? That is exactly what I intend to do in this video by offering you my top tips for going wedding gown shopping. Shopping for your wedding gown is an exciting part of the wedding planning process and finding that dream dress is amazing, but it can also be stressful. If you want to make the process a little easier, grab a pen and a paper and jot down these tips before you go shopping. Point number one, determine your theme and define your personal style. Whatever style of gown you choose should match your wedding theme, venue and decor so it tells a consistent story. What kind of bride are you? What is your personal style? Do you want to be bohemian, romantic, sexy, blinged out? Once you have picked the theme, find a store or designer who stocks the dresses that fit the vibe you're looking for. Visit their website, look on their Instagram pages, and make sure that whatever they are offering is reflective of your personal style. Tip number two, prepare an inspiration or mood board ahead of your appointment. If you're using Pinterest, my recommendation is pin as many dresses that jump out at you and then gradually sieve it down to about five dresses that you particularly like so you don't get overwhelmed when you do go shopping. Once you have found the dresses that you really like, it narrows down your search and makes the shopping experience so much easier. Tip number three, decide on your budget or how much you can afford to spend on your wedding gown. Do your research ahead of time. Call the designer whose dresses you are interested in to get an idea of how much you should be expected to spend. Or better still, call the bridal salon, get a catalog out. Every designer has a starting price, which should give you an indication of how much you will be expected to spend. Also, if you're planning to buy your dresses off the rack, be sure to ask how much it will cost to get alterations done, because that can also drive up the cost. Tip number four, consider the season, location, and size of your wedding. In Ghana, it is hot 90% of the time. So if you're shopping for your wedding dress in a different country, be sure to ask them to show you dresses with fabrics that are light and airy. Also, if you're getting married on a beach, as an example, you don't want to buy a dress with a long chain that's going to get caught up in beach sand and end up looking unattractive after a couple of hours. If you're getting married in an intimate small space, then perhaps a fitted mermaid gown might be a better option to a huge ball gown which might get in the way. Tip number five, consider the time of day. Is your wedding during the day or is it in the evening? If your wedding is during the day, you might want to purchase a dress that is a bit more casual. Whereas if your wedding is in the evening, you might want to go for a more sophisticated look. Tip number six, consider timing. How much time do you have? Do you have time for a custom made dress or do you have to buy a dress off the rack? As a wedding planner, my recommendation is to start shopping for your wedding dress six to nine months before your wedding day. However, if your dress is a bit more complex and requires a lot of detailing or beading work, then my recommendation is to start shopping for that dress a few months earlier. Tip number seven, be very selective with who you choose to go along with you to your bridal appointment. Only take along your bare bone decision makers to your bridal appointment. Pick people who are tactful, constructive and helpful and will make the entire shopping experience fun. Don't feel obliged to drag along all of your bridesmaids or your siblings or people who will only offer distasteful suggestions or keep going on and on about what they think you should do. And for your own sanity, please do not take any children along with you to your bridal appointment. It is not the best environment for them. My final point, before you go to the bridal salon, call ahead and make sure they stock dresses by your favorite designers and also stock your size. A bridal dress size 10 to 12 will be about a street size eight. So as an example, if you regularly wear a size 14, you want to ensure that they have a sample dress size, which is one or two sizes bigger than you actually are. You also want to do a bit of research about what dresses will best fit your body type. 
You want to choose a dress that is flattering and not highlight all of the body parts that you actually want to hide. In my subsequent videos, I will be sharing some of my top tips for choosing the best dress for your body shape, plus a lot more wedding planning tricks and tips. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, be sure to hit the notification bell so that you receive an alert whenever there's a new video. I look forward to seeing you again, same time next week. Bye-bye.